here with the legendary Smokey Robinson. Man, I'm just curious, if you can pick your all-time favorite Grammy performance, who would it be and why? Are you kidding me, man? I've been coming to the Grammy for 60 years, man. <laughs> you gotta pick one. I know you, at least three. I don't, no, I don't have to pick one. You know, the, the, the Grammys are awesome every year. It's, it's our night. It's music night. You know, it's our Oscars. So I've seen some fantastic performances, man. And for me to pick one out of all those performances, that's like asking me, what is my favorite song? <laughs> I have no idea, you know? So let me ask you, even if I ask you your fondest personal Grammy moment, you couldn't give me one? When I won. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to take home a gold trophy. Absolutely. Man, you teamed up with Anderson Pack, one of our favorites for the Make a Better collaboration. How did that come together? Well, um, Dre, Dr. Dre, called me and said he wanted me to come down and meet Anderson because I hadn't met him and uh, write some stuff with him. So I came down and I met him and uh, he had the beginnings of the song there on a track, gave it to me, I took it home, wrote the song and brought it back and you know, that's what happened. He's a, he's a great young man. I enjoy working with him though. There you go, just like Magic. Because you're such a legendary songwriter, what do you think it takes to make the perfect song, if there is a way? No, there's no way. You never know what the perfect song is going to be, man. You go in, you have a good song, you think, oh, this is it, and sometimes it's not, you know. Sometimes you go in, you have a great song, you say, well, okay. Uh, my, my, my best example for that for you would be My Girl. Okay, when I wrote My Girl, I wrote My Girl for The Temptations for David Ruffin to sing with his voice and so on and so forth. I knew it was a good song. I went in, I, I felt like, oh, I made a good record on this. I, I, I left town. I came back and Barry Gordy, who's my best friend, called me to his office and said, you got number one record, man. I thought he started working for the Miracles of Me. I said, we don't even have a record out right now. We don't have a new record. He said, no, I mean my girl. So my girl, as a songwriter, has become my international anthem. You know what I mean? I go places in the world where, to perform where English is not even the primary language. And I play my girl in our show, okay? As soon as they hear boom, 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 boom. They know some people get up, they start singing, they don't speak English, you know? So I didn't know my girl was gonna be all that, man. Had no idea. Yeah. That's a, that's a dope antidote. I appreciate that, a little history lesson. We know we have the Prince tribute. I'm curious, do you have a fondest memory of Prince and his artistry, his talents? And Prince himself was, is a fond memory. He was one of the greatest talents we ever had. You know, Prince was a genius. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to his tribute. He deserves it, he really does. Gone too soon. Michael, gone too soon. Kobe, gone, you know what I mean, man? So, and I'm kind of, you know, today I'm, because Kobe was my friend, so, you know, and to think, you know, like I said, as a, as a dad myself, I can't imagine being in a situation, man, where as one of my kids is in peril, and I can't help them, too much. It's, it's definitely been tough news, especially the news of all the passengers and then his daughter as well. It's just been a lot to take in. Yes, yeah, it's, it's rough. Smokey, I hope you still manage to enjoy your night. I know you're presenting. Thank you for talking to Billboard, and we always appreciate you. Thank you.